Hello everyone. Today I will be presenting our work on learning style subspaces for controllable unpaired domain translation. Most of the current unpaired domain translation method work on the idea of dividing the data into a domain invariant content space and a domain specific style space. The training procedure ensures disentanglement of the content space from the style space and this result in high quality domain translation. Many of the pre many of the unpaired domain translation methods consider a single style space for the translation. This is problematic in the scenarios where we have multiple objects with different styles. Moreover, it doesn't allow controllable or reliable domain translation. Our idea is to simply decompose the style space into style subspaces. These subspaces are the factors of variation present in the data, and this could be hair color, hair type, age, smile, etc. The first challenge to the decomposition is the issue of non-identifiability. Since the domains are not paired, there is no way to ground generated images onto a particular subspace. To solve this problem, we assume that the pair of images are independent given a common subspace. This requires the knowledge of image attribute at the training time, but it makes the domain translation identifiable. Next is scalability. Following previous works, we can use a separate style encoder for each style subspace. This will increase the computational cost of the model and sometimes can lead to instability during the training. To solve the problem of scalability, we assume that the latent space can be partitioned into content and style subspaces. We introduce a partition vector, which is a binary vector and it stores the information of the common style subspace. This is our proposed architecture. We add domain specific layer to our, to our style encoder. Next, we introduce a partition network which partitions the style information into style subspaces. We also use a mapping network which samples standard Gaussian style and use it for domain translation. Our generator output translated image and a partition vector. The generated partition vector is used to regularize the training through a partition consistency loss. These are our qualitative results on Celebay HQ dataset. As compared to Stargen V2, we are able to generate images that has a lot of stylistic diversity. We achieve SOTA results on domain translation task on Celebay HQ and AF HQ datasets. We also introduce an evaluation metric for controllable generation called average controllable generation. Here, we train a binary classifier for each of the subspace. Given the domain translation model M, we generate translated image condition on the subspace K. ACG at the rate 1 denotes that the domain translation model is given only one chance to generate the image. The top block are the non-controllable generation methods, while the bottom block are the controllable generation methods. It is also possible to use a partition vector to interpolate the latent space at the inference time. Since, since each dimension of the partition vector is associated with a subspace, using a scalar value resembles the weight given to that subspace. The middle image is the source image. Here a negative value of the delta means the opposite effect of the desired subspace. The design of a style encoder allows us to achieve self-domain translation. We use this property for the ACE transformation task. It is also possible to combine multiple subspaces by passing a different scalar value to the partition vector. These are the results on multi-domain translation task. The scalability of the proposed method reduces the computational cost. Finally, the pro we propose an idea of partition vector which allows partitioning of the latent feature space into style subspaces. The decomposition of the subspaces allows control over the interpolation of latent style subspaces. The proposed method is scalable and can handle multiple domains. Thank you.